Hi, welcome to this uh, video today, which is on the 23rd of November. It's Thursday and it's 5 p.m. GMT. What we're going to be doing in a moment is looking at some trade setups which we think offer excellent risk to reward. Going to the charts in a moment. I just want to discuss the markets generally first. Now, in relation to the last six weeks or so, we've seen, in our view, really great trading conditions. Volatility has picked up in many Forex pairs and, and you've seen some nice trends. And we've been saying for a while now, there is a move going on in the Forex markets, which is money is flowing out of risk currencies and weak credit currencies into the safe havens. And you can take advantage of this and basically aim for really great profits on your trades. And put up numerous individual videos. I mean, many of you might have seen them already. If you haven't, they're in our technical analysis playlist. And yeah, we analyzed several pairs and yeah, most of them have done really, really well. Yeah, AUD, USD, 300 pips, USD CAD did 500, USD JPY has done a few hundred since the weekend, uh, AUD JPY has done a similar amount. So yeah, we've aimed for big profits. We use very simple technical analysis and we've actually given our entry in advance our stop and our target. We're very, obviously we can be wrong, but very confident in our method, okay? You will see a lot of people analyze online who will not give you their trades. The people who do all the complicated stuff, for example, never give you their entry stop and target in advance. That's the hard bit. It's easy to say prices go up, buy it, prices go down, sell it, they'll be right after the event. Now, if we can do it, of course, anyone can do it. Simple technical analysis is best, yeah, okay? In terms of simple technical analysis, yeah, focus on the big levels, okay? Now, in relation to our analysis being very simple, we do always analyze sentiment behind the chart, which anyone can do, because once you know the sentiment behind the chart, you know the buying and selling power in certain areas, okay, or at certain levels. So you can project big targets. It will also help you detect really great risk to reward entries. So something anyone can do, okay, this move from risk it's only just beginning in my view. It's, it's got longer to run. And we haven't yet seen a move from risk in stock markets. If that occurs, it's really gonna make trading conditions fantastic. because It's really just gonna basically boost volatility in the Forex markets, okay? Now, I did think the stock market's correct by now, they haven't. But yeah, if they do, they're gonna give um, us even better trading conditions than we've got now. And we have, in my view, got a great trading environment. So what we're going to do now is go and look at some trade setups. And really, we're going to be focused on trading safe currencies against risk currencies. So let's go to the Remember charts. Center. And what we're going to do is uh, just yeah go to the charts. I did them earlier today. There's been no real change uh, in the markets today. Very quiet day due to Thanksgiving. Uh, just keep in mind, when we look at the charts, um, yeah, it is my view as of right now. It can change in line with the market conditions. If you want all our trading techniques and uh, access to our day tech analysis for life, you can click on the link beneath this video. Now, just before we go to the charts, what I'm going to do is go uh, uh, and look at the sentiment of the markets. It's something I do every single weekend. and just going to go through how I was looking at sentiment at the weekend and how that helped me with my trading, okay? Why do I look so avidly at sentiment at the weekend? Because uh, the CFTC net traders positions come out. And if you're unfamiliar with the CFT, it's a fantastic tool and it's totally free as well. Now, just for any of you, the way we use it is we want to analyze two groups, non-commercials. Uh, they're basically large speculative funds, okay? And we want to see how they're moving against the commercials who are smart money hedgers. Now, when you get the groups really diverge, um, always break in favor of the commercials. They're right about every major trend change. So we just wanna study how the groups are moving. That's gonna help us with our technicals. This is a shortcut to the sentiment of the market effectively. I mean, we study the news and all the rest of it. Um, but you don't have to, you just use the COT. 
Now, in terms of the sport, when we were looking at it the weekend, it's this currency that caught our eye, JPY. So what's the foreign currency first on uh, the CFT report? And what we can see is the longs and shorts of the non-commercials. We can work out their ratio. They're 3.4 to 1 in terms of bearish bets on the yen. Okay, so they're bullish of USD JPY. And we can see they're selling the yen hard, nearly 9,000 contracts going in. Commercials on the other side doing the opposite. They're 4 to 1 in terms of their bullish bets over bearish bets. And they're aggressively buying the yen. The divergence between the group two groups is 7.4. Now, in terms of divergences, they vary between currency pairs, okay? Um, 7.4 in terms of USD JPY is a great one. We're already short USD JPY. That's just reinforcing our bearish stance. Now, if we take the AUD and CAD, we've been short of uh, them both on the USD for a while. They're you know two of our longer term trades. We want to see there's any big change in the positions. There's no big change in the positions this week. Non-commercials remain bullish of the Aussie, bullish of the CAD. Commercials are basically bearish of the quality currencies. Divergences are okay, 6, 5.7. Both groups have lightened off their positions a little bit, which alerts us there could be a little bit of a correction uh, in those two currencies, but no major trend change. Now, the real interest for us this week was when we were looking and we can see what the commercials are doing in the Swiss franc and the JPY. They're literally buying heavily on every you know, currency we track, basically. AUD CHF, AUD JPY. You see it. The commercials are really coming in short the Aussie against the specs you're buying. Divergences 15 and 13. Point one. Now, any divergence, once it gets above 10, is a really good one. You're normally going to get something in favour of the commercials. Do it again in CAD CHF, CAD JPY. Commercials, heavy sellers of the CAD, 15.3, 13.3. Let's go down to the Euro. Euro CHF, 12.8. Euro JPY, 10.8. Commercials coming in to sell. They'll still on the GBP against the CHF, although it's not such a big one, and on the JPY as well. But there's still decent divergences. So, yeah, we're really looking at the, the Swissy and the JPY in the coming week, which is obviously this week. Um, and also, we yeah, the commercials are still pretty bullish of the USD, but um, not on the uh, yen and on the Swissy. OK, so. What else on the report did we note this week? Uh, GBP, AUD, GBP, CAD, GBP, NZD. Uh, the commercials just tend to be buying the dips in the British pan. The British pan has had really big moves up on the commodity currencies that we think there's far more to come. So the, the main yeah points we took from the port re report this week. So let's go and look at the charts. And let's go and start with... Um, USD JPY. Okay. If I can find it, just scroll down. Okay, so here's the USD JPY. Now we know from yeah, basically our analysis of the news as well, that yeah, all these banks, brokers, wise economists, they all think the USD JPY is going up, and they were thinking it here, okay? But we noted at the time, commercials just selling against the specs here. The specs really are having a hard time getting above 114, okay? And they can't do it. So basically, we just want to sell um, JPY in any weakness. And we took it back through uh, the 114 level, uh, 113.80, okay? Now, yeah, basically what you then see is stops start to get hit of the speculators. Now, here's Monday's candle, a blue one. It's a reasonable size blue candle. We've seen the COT report. We don't need to change our view. We know the speculators are running out of buying power against the commercials. Get a lovely move down. Now we're sitting above 111. So a really good move down. So about yeah, 260 odd pips. So yeah, 
it's been a nice smooth down. And we now think this level breaks, we'll then go down to 108.50. So it's still plenty more profit potential, but we are a little bit oversold. Technically, we take into account volatility on the charts, not so momentum. So we're going to bank 50% of our trade out of 111.20. Take the bounce of 112. So if she gets up here, we'll hopefully get back in at a better price. Or if she breaks below 110.80, we'll come in. Okay. So yeah, this trade for us, it's running nicely. Uh, we see far more downside. And in, in terms of the technicals, yeah, we're not using many lines. Okay. We've got the first level of resistance here. Okay. So that's where we're going to put our bank profit back in. That's our second level. Okay. That's where our stop is behind. These levels here, uh, when we initially put the 111 in, yeah, when we came in back up there, that's to do with, you know, historically how far uh, a COT divergence should push price. So that's the first level. That's just about being hit. Second level, we think, will be hit. So, you know, very, very simple technical analysis once you know the COT. Now, in terms of uh, Australian dollars, is one of our favourite trades longer term. Been in it a while, since 79.70. We got up here. Commercials selling against the specs. There's the candle we want to come in on. Get it through the 20-day moving average. Down, bit of a retracement. Down, down, down. Okay. So we're now down just above. 76 so that's uh 370 pips okay now what we noted on the cot report was there been a bit of lightning in positions by the commercials now when we points to a bounce technically we're a bit oversold here so what we'll do we we'll just take 50 percent of our profit in okay and then look to put it back in on a test of this level here or she comes back through the round number just always like to lighten out Although the COT gives confidence, um, just makes it psychologically easier to hold big trends. So I always like to revolve that 50%. So, yeah, this is a good level, uh, which I think should hold. This level here on the weekly chart is a big, big level. OK, I don't see the Aussie closing above that level. So, yeah, we've got um 73.70 is the next target and then we're aiming for 72. so again nothing too complicated the cot giving us real confidence in this trade um usd cad okay so uh this one has been a decent one for us down here is a five-year extreme between speculators selling commercials buying we just go with the commercials it's a lovely run up and then we get stopped out. We got 500 pips out of it and we came back in at 127.65. As we came up here, we came back in. Um, but look at that, drop back. Now, from our reading of the COT report, yeah, the commercials have lightened a bit, but not much. Uh, you know, the speculators are still too short, the USD. There's still more of them to get run on stop so we think yeah this level's a good level of support this level here is a strong level for us come back through the 20 certainly 128 just go up to 132 then 135 in our view so again nothing complicated in, in catching long trends you yeah, know with the cot just using yeah simple technical analysis where should we go next let's go and have a look at one of my favorite pairs at the moment, which hasn't done as much as I thought it would. It's Euro JPY. Now, in terms of Euro JPY, when we got up here, the commercial sold hard. They sold against the speculators here. We've got a decent short trade there. Then she roared back up. Okay, the commercials really came in to sell against the specs. Just take it on any red, this candle here. 133.60 in. Uh, our stop is now 132.16. Okay, where are we? Uh, we're just below the 132 level. We haven't bothered taking 50% of our profit because it just isn't enough in our view. We'd rather give back uh, profit. Um, we'd normally want at least 200 pips to take a 50-50. 
got double trend line here. Tiny day moving average behind, stop behind that. I just feel if we break here, it's 128, then 124. So, yeah, again, um, COT really helping us. Uh, let's go to some Swissy trades. <clears throat> okay, Euro CHF. Um, yeah, when, you, when you're trading the CHF, okay, it is a bit like a less volatile JPY, if that makes sense. It's correlated with it because it's a safe haven, um, but a bit less volatile. This double top here, when we came up here, okay, commercials just selling hard against the specs here. We didn't think this level could be taken out. Take an aggressive entry, 116.70. She does come off, okay, and down. Uh, but she hasn't moved as much as I thought yet. Um, we don't have enough profit yet to bring our stop down, uh, you know, to lock some. Keep it back at 117.50. I'm very confident in this trade. Of course, it can go wrong, but I just do not see this level being taken out. Come down through the 20-day moving average, holding just below it. Got double trend line. That's, if that's taken out, we've got the really strong resistance there. So we're just going to hold. And we've got decent targets as well. Uh, GBP CHF, I think that's worth a swing trade as well. She's come through the 20. She's going to struggle back to the 131 trade day moving average, two levels behind. Should see a decent fall. Um, but I've actually, over the GBP, I think I prefer the commodity currencies. Um, this one broke down for us. 75.80 in through the 76 level back here, okay? She tumbled nicely. And we know, although we've seen this little bit of sideways congestion, well, the commercials are just really heavily, heavily short against the specs. So any rally to here is a sell. This now, I think, is pretty firm. Resistance, we've just locked in. 20 pips, so we covered our spread, okay? Um, again, I don't want to take profit, because or any profit here, because it's not enough. I think we're going to go down to at least this level here, 72.70. One to watch out for, which hasn't happened yet, is this one, CAD CHF. Um, commercials are heavily short. We've broken the 20, provided resistance. We're now snaking sideways with a downward bias. As soon as she breaks here, I think the stops are going to get run. It should be down here. So the stop could be tucked back behind this level. This one hasn't come to fruition yet. Uh, it'll come, I think. Uh, just the need to be patient and wait. And I think it's going to be similar to the one I'm going to look at next, which is... Um, where am I going? I want to go to AUD, a JPY. Yeah, once I've done these ones with, yeah, in relation to CAT report, I'm just going to go through some other pairs and the move from risk as well. Um, sorry, I'll find it. Ah, here we go. This one we had to wait on, okay? We said 87 was the key level. We actually took it through the 20. We're a bit pretty confident. 87 was the key level. Gets down and bang, go the stops. And again, all right? So 87.35, we lock in some profit. 85.80 at the moment, okay? So a little bit of profit and... Uh, yeah, we've taken 50% in at 84.60, okay? We've got over 200 pips from entry, so we won't do that. And then we'll just put back in um, if we break lower. So we'll just wait for this double bottom to give way. If she goes up, I'll set a re-entry on the bounce. 82. So we've still got, yeah, 250 pips at least on the downside. I actually think she's going all the way down to 66. But, yeah, we've had a couple of trades in this one, okay? And, you know, it's been a nice downtrend, and the latest trade is doing well. So, you can see um, COT just helped us with those trades. Nothing complicated. Now, I just want to go through the move from risk and, and some other pairs. I'm just going to scroll back to as the top. Um, okay, here. This, this pair I've done a video, or did a video on. Interesting one. For us, it's probably not one that most people look at. It's the USD NOC, okay, Norwegian Krona. And it's a proxy to the euro, okay? And yeah, you know, we actually trade this rather than the euro at the moment because 
if the euro goes down, the knock will go down even quicker. Why? Because the knock has only risen because of euro strength. Okay, did a video on this. It's called proxy trading. And it's when the main currency drags up proxy currencies, but the proxy currencies move too much. So when the euro goes down, the knock should go down quicker. That's exactly what's happened. We had a really good trade on this. There's much more profit trading this USD long on the knock than there is uh, euro USD short. Now we've got the correction. I would look out for this one because as soon as she comes back through this level here, 1870, she could go to 1855 in our view. So you, you know, when you get you know, a rotation of money, yeah, from risk to safe, these proxy currencies always tend to get hurt. Um, uh, USD try. Um, in terms of the try, and we've said it in numerous videos, just sell it. Yeah, it, it, it's just a you know, great sell, or has been for a while. And, and look at the rise in this one. The only reason the Turkish lira went up anyway is because everyone was so bullish of risk and then what you get is the rotation away from risk and this is just a massive move uh we got yeah well over a thousand pips out of this one uh, and it, she's even run on since we got out we're still trying to get back in on the dip uh yeah although yeah obviously the usd uh is yeah basically clear blue sky it's, it's at near its highs of all time um it's still going higher yeah, I think they'll devalue the try. Minute I can't get back in though. It's a decent one for us. Another thousand pip move to the upside, but bang, gets stopped out. But that's just a retracement. Come through here, we go to there, then up to there, and then weekly resistance in 1950. Okay, so up to here, and then after that, I'm putting the level down on my report, but it's 2050. Uh, yeah, we just see. Uh, you know, this is a big risk currency. It's getting hurt. Uh, you also look on the JPY as well. MXN uh, is getting hurt and will get hurt even more. Um, what other proxy currency got? Uh, Eastern Europeans, the Huff. This one hasn't gone as well as I thought it would. Mm -hmm. Nice move up. Got a nice trade on that. Nice move up. I thought she'd just run on to 278. She's come right back down. Uh, got a long in. Uh, just feel, yeah, the half is going to get her. It's just a proxy to the euro. So, yeah, trading the proxy currencies, uh, good good trades, in my view. Uh, I said I really like the GBP. Uh, if I go down to it, these will be the last pairs we look at. Uh, commercials have just tended to buy the dips in this. We've had really good trades. Caught that move up, that move up. And then this one up, okay. And you, the good thing about trading these more minor pairs, yeah, you, 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 I've often said I don't particularly like trading the euro and USD. You get more movement in a week in this one than you do the euro in months. Yeah, it, it, you just want to trade the volatile pairs. And this trade is going to continue. You can see where I put my levels: one eight hundred, then one nine hundred. Going to retrace the whole Brexit decline, in my view. Yeah, if you get stopped out, <laughs> I don't mind being stopped out in this one. Yeah, I just re enter on strength. I've got the commercials on my side, and the commercials heavily um, bullish of the GBP, basically. Uh, similar story GBP ends a day, another nice trend to the upside. What should we look at last? We'll look at GBP JPY. You can see uh, uh, on the CFT report, commercials are pretty bearish. It's just coming down. Not much volatility at the moment. Trajectory is down. You're 20 day behind. Triple, no, so quadruple top there. Just needs to tumble this level. She should hit that one, then hit that one. Now, that is um, just a review of a few trade setups in, in relation to what's going on in the markets, which is that move from risk, it's going to continue. Just basically bullish of the USD. Uh, we're also bullish, well, we're obviously bullish of the, the JPY and the CHF. Yeah, just sell 
risk currencies, weak credits and proxies against them. And yeah, in terms of the COT, uh, just a fantastic tool for helping you identify these sorts of trades. I hope you found the video useful. Thank you very much for watching me. Take care and have a good day.